We are going to set up a simple level application using the seven quick start parameters. For our application, we are going to use a multi-ranger to measure the level of liquid in a three meter high storage vessel. The first step is to put the multi-ranger into program mode. Push the mode key, then the next display key twice until the multi-ranger displays P dash dash dash. We then enter 001 for parameter number one. Parameter one sets the type of measurement for the application. As you can see, it is currently set at three, which is the factory default value. With this value, the multi-ranger would measure the distance from the transducer to the liquid surface. For our application, we want to measure the level, or in other words, the height of the liquid in the vessel. According to the manual, parameter 1 for a level measurement should be set to a value of 1. To do this, simply push the number 1 key followed by the enter key. To go to the next parameter, press the up arrow key. Parameter number 2 optimizes the multi-ranger for measuring either liquids or solids. The factory default value is set to 1 for liquid applications. We are going to leave it at this value. Press the up arrow key to move to the next parameter. Parameter number three is used to match the response time of the multi-ranger to the rate of level change within the vessel. The factory default is two for a medium rate of change. We will leave this parameter set to the factory default. Use the up arrow key to go to parameter number four. Parameter four optimizes the multi-ranger for the specified input. The input can be either a transducer or a milliamp input source. In our application, we are going to use an Echomax XRS5 transducer. The XRS5 transducer has a numeric value of 112. We enter 112 and then the enter key to set this value. Press the up arrow key to go to the next parameter. Parameter 5 sets the units of measurement for all dimensional values. The factory default for this parameter is 1 for meters. Since this is the units preferred for this application, we will leave it set to the factory default value. Press the up arrow key to go to parameter number 6. Parameter 6 is the empty distance value. This distance is measured from the transducer face to the bottom of the vessel. For our application, this distance is 2.7 meters. To enter this value, press 2 decimal 7 and then the enter key. Press the up arrow key to go to the final quick start parameter. Parameter 7 is the span setting. The span is the distance from the bottom of the vessel to the highest liquid level under normal operating conditions. For optimal performance, the maximum level value must be at least 0.3 meters from the transducer face. This is also referred to as the blanking distance. The maximum span value would then be the empty distance minus the blanking distance. For our application, the maximum span value would be 2.7 meters minus the 0.3 meter blanking distance, or 2.4 meters. We enter 2 decimal 4 and then press the Enter key to set this parameter. We have now programmed the multi-ranger for this application. To exit the programming mode, we simply press the Mode key. The multi-ranger will now display the current level reading in the selected dimensional units.